it's irresponsible for me not to do something like this. Travis Belisle is the developer behind the Swanton Wind Farm project. So that's a ridge line right there. The plan builds seven wind turbines up to 499 feet tall along this ridge line, not far from Vermont 105 and not far from a number of homes. It's our communities, all the villages in Vermont need to be on the same page, and I don't think everybody's getting that opportunity. Protesters rallied outside Thursday night's informational meeting where the community got to speak with environmental, real estate, and sound experts commissioned by the Swanton Wind Project to learn more about the project that could start construction as soon as 2016. A frequent worry heard from many residents is the impact construction will have on water and wildlife. Pollution. We live right on Fairfield Pond. How can this be good when that is going to come downhill to the lake? We will be meeting all the state regulations that are related to water quality for, for projects of this type and any type. For neighbors living near the proposed wind turbine project in a community that's so quiet you can hear almost every bug, bird, and creature, one of the biggest concerns is the noise. This project proposes to put seven 500 foot towers, 1,800 feet, 2,000 feet from Vermont families. I don't support that. This would not be the first wind turbine project in Vermont. One not too far away started running in Georgia in 2012. The Swanton turbines could not only be potentially twice their size, but also closer to homes. Danielle Garrett says she and her kids live less than half a mile away. So does Belial. It's very, it's very scary to, to think of the possible effects that this is going to have on them. Belial says when it comes to some of the concern people have expressed about the turbines, he gets it. As far as uh, visual impacts, you know, they are what they are. That, that is the current technology we have to work with today. We can't get to the next level of technology without investing in what's current. Some residents think more time needs to be spent weighing the pros and cons. So why don't we take a step back and find out for sure? I'll be open to that. In Swanton, Jared Hill, WPTZ News Channel 5.